Hey everybody, welcome back for week two of summer trail training. I've been working on dialing things back this week, or at least that was my plan. If you remember back to last week, I was talking about how this week was the start of summer preseason running for the cross country team that I help coach. And they start off with building aerobic base and general fitness with uh, some weekly mileage goals that are fairly low compared to what's normal for me over the course of the year. So I thought I would kind of scale things back a little this week and meet them where they're getting started. I like to move my way into the cross country coaching season with kind of a perspective of how everybody else is doing and what the training feels like. So that was my goal, but I didn't actually reduce my mileage this week compared to last week, uh, if at all, by very much. And so instead, it turned out that I just spent a lot less of my time doing climbing during my runs. I got a lot less elevation, uh, total elevation gain, and that was the way that I made things easier. At the same time, running with high schoolers usually causes me to run a lot faster than I normally would. Um, or that I plan on running in the moment, sometimes considerably faster. And so it was sort of a wash, I think, altogether for taking things easier during this week with some pretty casual runs for me where I got some rest and some other runs that left me sore in my legs in ways that I haven't experienced very much this summer when it wasn't from climbing up mountainsides. On Monday, I actually got things started on the wrong foot with a double. In the morning, I ran with my wife. We did 4.8 miles from the main trailhead of West Glacier Trail up to the creek that a lot of times we use as a turnaround point on that trail. It was a preview of a cross country preseason run that we would do later on in the week, but it was a great run. It uh, got us 900 feet of elevation gained and lost, which wasn't really the goal again, like I said, but um, actually the trails around Juneau, sometimes it's hard to find a place to get five miles in without getting almost a thousand feet of climbing in during your run. So anyway, that was a good way to start the week. And then in the evening that day was the very first preseason practice of the 2024 cross country season. And we had a scavenger hunt around downtown, so not really trail training. Um, I stayed on the roads almost exclusively, but just ran kind of back and forth, zigzagging around, trying to run into teams of runners who were on their photo scavenger hunt, taking pictures of different things, and managed to bump into them here and there around some of the boundaries of the run and have a good time. And that rounded out Monday with another uh, five-ish miles in the evening on the roads. It's gonna sound a little bit silly, but on Tuesday I got another 1,200 feet of total ascent during my run. It was another lunch break run for my friend John and I. We met at the trailhead of the Salmon Creek Dam Trail. We ran up to the viewpoint that's right underneath the base of the dam. There's another few hundred feet of climbing over a really technical trail with some super steep stairs up to the top of the dam and the view over the reservoir, but we didn't really have time for that on Tuesday, so uh, we made it up to a turnaround point right underneath the dam and headed back down for, I think it was about 5.8 total miles and finished up right before a huge rainstorm uh, blew through Juno and uh, would have absolutely soaked us. So it was a beautiful run. Um, we have some video of that to share. I did turn my ankle pretty hard during that run, but all in all, even though my ankles have been weirdly prone to rolling a little bit during my runs so far this summer in a way that I'm not really used to and it's been kind of unexpected, still nothing has really lingered from one day to the next in a way that has made it so that I haven't been able to continue my training. So that's been great. 
Wednesday was a run that ended up being all about the kids. At the preseason practice, we met at the Blueberry Hills Snow Machine, access to the Treadwell Ditch and Dan Muller Cabin. And we did an outback in the northward direction on the Treadwell Ditch Trail, except for that I did an out and back and out and back and out and back a little bit, just trying to check in with a lot of different runners while I was headed along. The Treadwell Ditch Trail is notoriously slow running, uh, surprisingly technical, uh, pretty rocky and rooty, and it slows things down quite a bit, even though you might not necessarily notice it as you're as you're going along. It's uh, not a lot of climb or descent, nothing that's very scary to run over, just not easy to run very fast. So anyway, that was a good just under five and a half miles for that night. And besides that, I was occasionally trying to catch up with people um, and so going a little bit faster than maybe I otherwise would have. Uh, it was a good recovery day run um, after Monday and Tuesday. On Thursday, I actually just headed back out to the same place that we ran as a team on Wednesday night. I did a true out and back with a little bit more time on my hands and tried to take it a little bit easier as well. It was hard to decide where I was going to run that day. At first, I thought I was going to head to Perseverance, but then it looked like weather was kind of pocketed back up in uh, the valley that holds Perseverance Trail um, and Granite uh, Creek Trail. So. I decided to skip out on that and went back to the Treadwell Ditch. Uh, I ran through all kinds of different weather, including a little bit of sunshine, um, some low hanging clouds and some absolutely dumping rain. Uh, I was crazy cold and windy by the time I finished up 11.9 miles on the Treadwell Ditch. It was another great day and uh, hopefully I got um, some pretty decent video of that run to share during this. On Friday, it was back again to West Glacier Trail. We started this time from Skater's Cabin, which adds about just under a half a mile of really flat and runnable kind of D1 track. Um, so we do that kind of as a warm up and a cool down at the beginning and the end of practices that we have on West Glacier Trail. Then West Glacier Trail does about a mile and a quarter to a mile and a half of kind of steady climbing before it hits its really steep ascent um, up towards the end of the West Glacier Trail, which we don't really get anywhere close to the end of West Glacier Trail. Uh, again, uh, at least the group that I was with, which I think ended up being the kids that made it the farthest on this particular run. We turned around at the same creek that I turned around at on Monday and it was another good run except for that when I got back down to the flats which is a place where I don't keep up with high school runners very successfully for some reason I felt like I needed to maybe partly it was because I was trying to get back to the parking lot before too many uh, runners were there without any coach but besides that uh, I guess I was just feeling challenged by people half my age to uh, keep the pace up. So anyway, I was tired after that run on Friday, but only had Saturday's run before my day off. So all in all, it was pretty good. On Saturday, I was supposed to be taking things easy, and that's pretty much the way things went down. 
not really of my own choice and easy in some ways and a little bit uh, tricky in others. I started my run from Nine Mile Creek Beach and that meant I actually did about a mile and a half, not quite a mile and a half on the road and I was pretty bummed about that as I was headed towards Fish Creek Trail which was my main destination for the run for that day. But once I was on Fish Creek Trail for a little bit, I was really glad that I was going to get about three road miles total out of the run because the Fish Creek Trail is a really rough trail to try to run. Uh, awesome trail for hiking, climbs to about halfway up Eagle Crest Road. Eagle Crest is a ski area here in Juneau. So it's super fun, the creek is beautiful, the trail actually has some really nice sections on it, but it's also very difficult to run on. The routes are pretty bad. There's a lot of muddy sections all times of year. It's, the soil is super boggy and springy in different places. I fell once um, on some cut rounds that were trying to provide a way through some mud but that kind of uh, that kind of wood uh, is always a bad place to step if you're trying to move quickly and my feet just slipped out from under me and I fell a little bit aggravating a shoulder injury that I've been continuing to deal with um, but anyway I even had a section on that run where I was doing basically flat trail. I mean, no overall elevation gain probably in the entire mile, and it was still 17 minute miles, if that gives you any idea of what kind of running conditions. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any camera with me on that run, so I don't have anything to show for myself. You'll just have to take my word for it that it was a wild and woolly run on the Fish Creek Trail, and it'll probably be a while before I bother running on Fish Creek Trail again, especially if I have to do an out and back. It would be one thing to just do the climb up in one direction, I think, but doing out and backs on Fish Creek Trail is not going to be part of my foreseeable future. Anyway, that was it for the runs for the entire week. I hope that you enjoyed some of the footage from those runs. I was trying to collect a little bit more variety this week, but I still only managed to bump up from two runs being filmed with the 360 cam to three of them being filmed. But uh, we'll, there's still room for progress from there. So we'll keep on working on things and Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.